All right, so today I'm going to find out what a cryptid I am, apparently. All right, so our first question, finish the sentence, I'm feeling blank. All right, and our options are feral, gay, tired, dramatic, and all of the above. So I found this quiz from a Tumblr post, and I know on Tumblr, at least especially on like the fandom side, that these traits all typically kind of conglomerate into one mass. And to be honest, I don't know if these as a whole perfectly describe me, but like they're overall, it's close enough. I am kind of just obliged to go into that kind of mass and just pick all of the above. So our second question is pick some song lyrics. I don't know what any of these songs are, but I can still kind of like react to the lyrics. So our first option is my demon friend suffocating again. And I don't know about this one, like I, my friends are kind of like, do you tend to have that kind of gremlin vibe that I think these lines are leaning towards? But I am, the suffocating part is not really appealing to me. I'm pretty averse to the whole aesthetic, I guess, of suffocation. It doesn't really seem like my kind of thing. Our second option is nobody cares if I'm dead or alive. Oh, what a wonderful life. It's um very accurate, once again, and not just the first part either. Like, the whole kind of aesthetic of just like, not having pressure on you, I think is pretty good. My one uh, concern with this question is I'm pretty sure there's like a Christmas movie, I think. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. It kind of reminds me a, a bit of that. I'm not super into that in terms of like presentation on this quiz, so it's something to think about, definitely. Third option is I'd love to change the world, but I don't know what to do. This line, I will say, is a lot more natural sounding than the first two, but the sentiment seems a little, like, overly straightforward, and I don't see how it could apply to cryptids. Like, I'm pretty curious to see, like, is, is it Bigfoot saying this line or what? I don't really get it, but that's alright. Our fourth line is, no masters or kings when the ritual begins. I like this one. The first uh, part has, it's pretty close to like that anarchist slogan. And the second part, maybe it's a bit straightforward, but the ritual line makes me kind of think of like witches or that. So overall, it's a very good combination. So it's looking strong for this one. Fifth line, no grave can hold my body down. So yeah, I actually do recognize this one. It's Ain't No Grave by Johnny Cash. It's not actually written by Johnny Cash, but he did the most famous version. And I'm not super into country, but I kind of got to respect that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it. All right, and our third question is pick a time of day. And our first option is dawn. Dawn, honestly, as a concept is kind of frustrating. Like I live on a farm, so there's not quite up at dawn, but it's... A lot of people in my house are, like, active around that time. And also just the whole aesthetic of, like, night coming to a close is kind of disappointing. I guess you could argue it's that whole, like, um, you need one to appreciate the other. But I, I don't know. It still it doesn't make it pleasant. Second option is noon, which makes me think of cowboys. I'm not a big fan of cowboys, so let's uh, move on. Our third option is dusk. It's not a very pleasing sounding word, but it's a nice time of day. I don't know what to say about it, but it is what I'm leaning towards right now. Our fourth option is twilight, which if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure includes both dawn and dusk. So that's a bit confusing. And our fifth option is midnight. It's a bit interesting to me that they didn't include like morning or afternoon or evening but it looks like they're going more for like specific moments because these are all except for twilight these are all specific instances anyways midnight is like i think the most consistent of all of these like it always bothered me that noon doesn't actually correspond to like when the sun is at its highest so i'm gonna go with midnight just for like the consistency our fourth question is favorite food and the first option is steak. Steak to me is a bit like 
plain but straightforward for a favorite food. Like, it's definitely not bad, not unenjoyable as a food, but it's, to me, that just says you haven't put a lot of thought into it if that's your favorite food. Our second option is fish. That seems a bit overly British to me. I mean, there's nothing, like, wrong with fish. I'm not British, so that poses a bit of a problem, you know? And besides, fish is weirdly, like, inconsistent in, like, how it's prepared. Like, you get some fish fingers, or just, like, breaded or whatever. But you can also get it in, like, really weird goop and cans and stuff. It's... I would be a bit suspicious if I was gonna have fish, like, and I didn't know what form it was taking, so that's a big strike against it. And our third option is salad, which is very boring. I'm gonna be honest, whenever I eat salad, I feel like I'm in one of those stock photos, and I don't like it. Like, it feels a bit invasive as, like, a concept. Like, I just imagine people, like, watching me eat with a camera. It must be a hard job being a model for one of those stock photo companies. Definitely not one that I'd want. Our fourth option is I'll eat whatever, which, based on what I've been saying, you can probably tell isn't really my aesthetic. And the fifth option is what is a food? Based on the other options, I'm gonna have to go with this one, I guess. It's definitely a vibe too, though, in general. Our fifth question is how much sleep do you get? Our first option is as much as I can, being awake sucks. Which I wouldn't agree with. I'm I'm awake all the time. I mean, I'm almost awake right now, so that's pretty good. Our second option is it's anyone's guess. I don't want to swear because it's YouTube, but... And I think that's accurate. How much I sleep tends to, like, vary wildly. So this one's pretty accurate. Also, I'm gonna say it started raining just now, so if you can hear it, I'm sorry, but it's not much I can do. Third option is a healthy amount with a smiley face. Clearly the face of a psychopath. I don't trust anyone who sleeps regularly, especially not people who just admit to it openly. So our fourth option is less than I should, which I is accurate, but I think is kind of just understating it. Like, I think not sleeping is one of those things where if you like aren't sleeping enough and you're talking to someone about it, you really should, like, just overstate it as much as you possibly can. Like, yeah, I get, like, negative three hours of sleep a week. I don't know why pe people talk like that, but it's a vibe, you know, honestly. It's just kind of fun. It's nice. So, our fifth option is sleep. That's a real thing. And that's, yeah, that's kind of the direction I was talking about before, so we're gonna go with that one. Our sixth question is, what do you do when you're sad? Your first option is sleep, which uh, goes against what I kind of was trying to establish in the previous question. Second option is eat, which once again goes against what I was saying in, I think it was the fifth question. You should remember you were there. Our third option is talk to someone, which I don't really support talking to people, so I'm gonna have to shy away from this one as well. Our fourth option is insert healthy coping mechanism, and with the fifth option being unhealthy. To be 100% accurate, honest, I don't actually cope when I'm sad, so I guess that would qualify as an unhealthy coping mechanism, so I'm gonna have to go with that one, I guess. And now we have our message box. I'm kind of sad we didn't get a through line on this one. We didn't get like a consistent theme like we did on our previous couple. But that's, sometimes that's just how it goes, you know? No, I have to say something. It's just a couple things I remember from going through the quiz. Um, I'm gonna ask, does Bigfoot want to change the world? Which cryptid was that prompt for? And let's see what I got. It's probably going to be a shorter video, but that's how it goes sometimes. And our result is Jersey Devil, you're mentally ill. Five stars. And we got the least common option too, which means we win the quiz, because that's how it works. Alright. Alright, thanks. Bye.